The way we eat has changed more in the last 50 years than in the previous 10,000. Back around the turn of the last century, the average farmer could feed six or eight people. Now, the average American farmer can feed 126 people, okay? These are the most productive humans that have ever lived. The changes down on the farm have been momentous and radical, but invisible to most of us, because who knows a farmer anymore? But their way of life has been uh, revolutionized. In the United States, only three million farmers are left. They produce enough grain to feed two billion people. America is the first to harness the phenomenal, revolutionary power of black gold. In the fields, machines replaced men. A liter of oil generates as much energy as 100 pairs of hands in 24 hours. We eat a lot of oil without knowing it. To bring a steer to slaughter, you know, it's like 75 gallons of oil. So what we're seeing is that this highly efficient machine does not have the resilience to deal with shocks such as uh, the spike in, in oil prices. Food prices last month were 3.9% higher than they were a year ago. We'll take corn, another basic source of food, up to a 12-year high. When you look at the feedstock that goes to feed the cattle, growing the lettuce, growing the wheat that gets transformed into the bun, and milking the cattle, processing the milk into cheese, processing the cattle into beef, trucking all that stuff around, keeping it cold, it turns out each burger has a pretty significant carbon footprint of its own. 25% of greenhouse gas emissions are coming from an agriculture that has become a war against the soil. For two seasons, three seasons, they'll get a soya harvest. Then they'll abandon it like a desert and cut down another 100,000 square miles. If you look at how much green stuff the planet produces every year, we use about two-fifths of that. We consume it, our domestic animals consume it, and, and, and we use wood and, and fibers. The entire Brazilian rainforest is being cut down for expansion of soya. We have always cut down forests to clear land for growing food. Now to meet the global demand for lumber, paper, biofuels, and land to graze cattle, forests around the world are being mowed down and the dirt beneath them ravaged. A third of our topsoil we've lost in the last 100 years. It's the problem of agriculture. It's the way we do agriculture now. That slippery slope that we are on right now, we started walking on that 10,000 years ago. And it is because of an inherent problem in agriculture. Agriculture really depends on disturbance. There's no way you can do agriculture without doing that catastrophic damage. So it makes agriculture fundamentally unsustainable. We have this one species planted for miles and it's a all-you-can-eat restaurant for pests. So once a pest learns to unlock the key and get into one kind of plant, and you've got that plant planted for miles around, it can open every single plant, okay? And so that's how pest epidemics get going, so then we add pesticides. And those chemicals deplete the life of the soil. They take away the structure of the soil. They take away the water of the soil. They take away the very organisms that make for soil fertility. Essentially, insects and plants are so like us physiologically, uh, you know, cell to cell, gene to gene, protein to protein, that if it's going to kill plants and if it's going to kill insects, it's going to kill us too. What this system produces is food empty of nutrients but loaded with toxics. We weren't designed to eat that kind of diet. A 
month doesn't go by where there isn't a story in the news that peels back the curtain on how that industrial food is made. Downer cows, too ill or lame to walk, being brutalized to get them to their feet for a slaughter. Millions of gallons of concentrated hog manure flushing their contents downriver. The government's food czar reported that there are no tools in place to track the origin of the latest salmonella outbreak. Every time one of these stories comes out, America learns a little bit more, you know, what's going on in the kitchen, where their food is being prepared. And every time they turn away in, in revulsion and start looking for alternatives. Thank you.